Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Uniconverter 12. We're gonna do a little comparison with the older Uniconverter 11. And overall, I'm gonna highlight some of the new features that you guys can check out. One of my favorite features is definitely the ability to actually download and convert 4K and 8K video. Even though 8K seems really far ahead in the future, it's really nice to have that feature right now for the small majority of people who actually do use 8K video. And obviously a 4K is pretty much a standard in 2020, so it's really appreciated to see the ability to do 4K as well. But overall, the interface of this new Uniconverter 12 is a lot more clean and toned down and less cluttered. And overall, it's just much easier to make use of the tools like the inbuilt editing tool because it's so much cleaner. The third new thing is the ability to bulk compress videos all at the same time. So you can pretty much send in a batch of multiple videos and it will do all of them in a big list. You now have the ability to actually natively record from your webcam and your microphone directly into Uniconverter so you can go ahead and edit and convert that. The burning tool now has the ability to actually do Blu-ray discs, which is really cool. So if you wanna burn some Blu-ray discs, you can go ahead and do that now. But now I've briefly gone over some of my new favorite things. I'm gonna just jump over to my computer and take a closer look and show you guys how you can go ahead and use these features. Okay, so I'm on my computer right now. And down at the bottom here, you should see these two logos. This is Uniconverter 12, the new one, and Uniconverter 11. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open Uniconverter 11 just to show you guys this is the user interface that we're pretty much familiar with by this point. And now we're gonna go ahead and open the new one, which as you can see is a much more clean and refreshing UI. Now the first topic we're gonna be talking about is actually downloading 4K and 8K videos. So you can do that in the Downloader tab. These are just downloads that I've done in the past, which are actually passed over from Uniconverter 11. So you do get all that sort of merged over into this new software. I'm just gonna go ahead into the downloading section and I'm gonna go ahead, click this drop down, and I wanna download some video. Now we're just gonna paste the URL in, hit download, and this is gonna load up our YouTube video we're gonna download. So we're just gonna wait for that. So as you can see, it's come up now and we have all these options for resolutions. But right at the top, we have these two new ones for downloading YouTube videos, 2160p and 4320p, which is of course 8K. So this is over a gigabyte, I think it's, um, let's go ahead and download this, see how big it is. So as you can see, it's 1.2 gigabytes and it's only gonna take around three minutes or so to download, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that download and then I'm gonna show you how you can compress it as well as convert it. Okay, so now I've downloaded it. If I just go over to Video Compressor, I can grab the file and drag this in here. That's gonna load the file in, and then we can go over here and actually go ahead and choose our file size. So it's currently 1.2 gigabytes, so we can simply go ahead and drag this slider down, which will reduce the file size. And as you can see, it's reducing the bit rate size down here. It's showing us that it's gonna be low quality, and we can go ahead and change the resolution here as well. Um, but this is probably going to be pretty, pretty low quality if we set it that low. So we're going to go ahead and set it about 800 ish megabytes. It's going to be medium quality. And now I'm going to hit OK. Once you've changed the settings, you can go ahead and hit start and that will go ahead and compress your media. And now I'm just going to show you guys that you can actually compress in bulk. So if you do go over here, you can add a folder. We can add this one. This has a couple of videos in it, like so. And we can go ahead and actually compress both of them at the same time. So we hit start, it's now gonna do both simultaneously, and that just saves us a little bit of time. Now, if we wanna convert this video, we can easily do that as well by simply going to the video converter tab, dragging in our video, and now we can go ahead and choose the file output we want. So if we want an MP4 file, we can click up here, and we can go ahead and choose our resolution, and we can even do some 3D things down here. But if we wanted, we could export in an MOV file, MKV, M4V. The list really does go on and we can even export to a DVD. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna keep it up uh, MOV or MP4. Um, we can go ahead and select one of these resolutions or if we wanna make a custom one, we can click this editing tool where we can go ahead and make this a higher resolution. We can change the encoder. We can also go ahead and change the frames per second and the bit rate, and you do have some audio settings as well. Once you've changed all of this, you simply click OK, then you select it down here, and then we hit Start, and that will go ahead and convert our video file into the MOV format. As you can see, it's a WebM format after we downloaded it, so this is pretty ideal for if we wanna edit it or play it back. 
So now in order to edit a video, we can go over to the video editor tab where we can go ahead and add watermarks, crop, trim, add effects, and various other things. Over on this dropdown, we can choose whether we get the media from a device, a camcorder, or we can go ahead and select it from our file system like I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a video that I made for some top apps. And now that's imported, we can go ahead and edit it. So over here, you have the trim tool. So inside the editor, it's pretty simple to use if we want to go ahead and shorten a clip, we just clip this and we can go ahead and move this slider to where we want to cut and then click this button and that will cut it. Then we can grab this and reduce the length. So if we want to cut out a section of a video. We simply go ahead and hit cut and then we can shorten it and so on. Once we've decided that's good, we simply hit OK and that will be the video trimmed. In terms of cropping, this is the cropping tool. This tool allows us to rotate the video, so if we do take it in a portrait format, we want it in landscape, we can go ahead and easily do that. There's also the option to flip the video horizontally and vertically. We can go ahead and change the crop size as well, or we can just drag it like this. So we can resize, apply all, we can even change the aspect ratio, and then we can go ahead and hit save. The third thing on the list is this option here, which allows us to add various effects. Just as you can see, you can add all these different filters and you can go ahead and change the saturation, your contrast, your brightness, and so on. And then you can change and add a watermark in case you wanna make your video sort of copyrighted and you have options for subtitles as well as changing the audio. But it's all very simple and minimal to use. I think it's all fairly straightforward and clear. Then we can hit save. Once we've decided that all the editing things are complete, this is exactly how we want the video, we can go ahead and then change the output like before. And then once you've decided, you simply go ahead and hit start, and then that will go ahead and edit and change the file type and export it fully to its own file. Now I also mentioned that you can record from your webcam and audio, and you can convert that to various formats as well. If you wanna do that, head over to Screen Recorder, and on this dropdown, you can change it to webcam. So this brings up the webcam options. And as you can see, you can go ahead and select your webcam. If you have multiple webcams, you can change your microphone input as well as your resolution and your frame rate. Once you wanna start recording, you just hit record. It's gonna do a little countdown like this. And we're now recording straight from the webcam on my laptop. So once you've done, simply hit the stop. It's gonna go ahead and bring in your file. If you right click, you can go ahead and see it in Finder right over here. If we want, we can drag it to the desktop, head over to Video Converter, and then we can go ahead and drag in the file. This allows us to do all the other options that we did before, like converting and compressing. Now, if you do wanna burn some things to some disks, you can go over to DVD Burner, then you can go ahead and import your file, just like this, and I've already got mine in here. Once you've done that, you can edit like before. You can go ahead and select where you wanna burn your video to. So it can be DVD media, DVD folder, or a CD. So I'm just gonna select DVD media. I'm then gonna go ahead and select quality as high quality, but you can do fit to disc. And then at the bottom here, you can also increase your quality by making it DVD nine. So this will actually work with Blu-ray discs. So you can go ahead and burn this straight to a Blu-ray by simply hitting burn. For more options, you do have the toolbox section, which allows you to convert images, make GIFs. There's also this fix media metadata. So this is basically any dates or locations or tags in your files. You can go ahead and amend those. There's also a transfer option, CD converter, CD burner, and an option to actually convert straight to VR. So you can also output video for various VR headsets as seen here. One new thing I've seen in UniConverter 12 is this new merger option, which allows you to actually go ahead and merge two video files together. So if we grab one video file and then another, we can trim them and also go ahead and merge them together into one file by simply hitting start. So I personally think these features are much welcomed and appreciated. I really do like the minimal interface, especially on Mac as the new Big Sur update is coming. So it's really nice to see that clean overhaul of the UI. If you haven't already updated or downloaded this version, definitely do click the link down below. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Definitely subscribe, keep up with this channel for more information on Uniconverter and Wondershare software.